Good morning from day two here in Salem. We just woke up a little while ago. We went to have breakfast downstairs. Breakfast. Free breakfast. This hotel has free breakfast, which you know, can't go wrong with that. Hi. How are you? All right, so today we're gonna, today was supposed to rain, which it did rain overnight. But look guys, it's sunny out right now. Well, it's not even windy anymore. It's sunny out right now. Uh, we're gonna go head over right now to Mac Dennison's house. Yeah, we're gonna find it. Yeah, which is a house from Hocus Pocus. So let's go do that. He still lives there, by the way. Yes. <laughs> Alright guys, we're getting close to the Max Denison house, I believe. Oh, okay, so it's right there. It's the last one. Oh, it's the last house. Look at the tree knocked down. Look, it's by the harbor. <gasps> On somebody's- Oh my oh god! Oh my god! <gasps> that is crazy. It's like a freaking hurricane passed by. Yeah, that storm must have been really bad. Wow. The destination is on your left. Yeah, there it is. There it is, the Max Denison house. And there's nobody here, I'm shook. I'm shook at that there's nobody here. There's usually tons of people here. Let's find a spot and uh, take pictures. Oh my god, it's so much smaller. All right, guys, we just parked the car. There's a Max Denison house right behind me. It really is much smaller in real life than what it you is. think. Um, everything is much smaller, it seems like. That room is tiny. Uh, that's a room that the witches came crashing out of, remember? So this is another angle of the house we're trying to get for you guys. It's super windy and cold, <laughs> but it's so beautiful. At the, it's right on the water. Oh my god, I love it. All right, so we're heading back to the car now because look, look at the water. Look at the water. It's so windy. I don't know if you guys could even hear me talking right now. It's so windy. Look at the leaves. All right, and we parked our car right over here. I literally just got smacked in the face by a leaf. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to fall. <laughs> yeah, for real. <laughs> Look at that beautiful harbor. Did you show them that? Yeah, I did. It's really amazing. It's re this whole area is really it's cute. So cool. It's a very seaside port. How was your time at the Max Anderson house? <gasps> it's super cute. It's just cool. Oh my god, this picture is really cute. <laughs> I really hope that you guys could hear us talking because it was so windy. But that's what this wind muff is for. Hopefully it works. Next stop, unknown. Maybe the school? The school from Hocus Pocus. So we didn't realize how close everything was around here. So here's the Hawthorne Hotel that we passed by yesterday in the last vlog. And I guess in the next street is where the high school is. Who would have thunk it? Who would have thunk it? So we are currently on Hawthorne Boulevard and Essex Street. Essex is oh like... Oh my god! Oh, how cute! Oh my god, that's Oh my six god, of them. that's the best job ever! <sighs> There, that's like a little preschool. Uh, that's adorable. So currently here in Salem, it is the Haunted Happenings Month, where everything haunted happens this month. This oh month. look, this is where the this is where the yeah the tour started. This, yeah, yeah, that's where our tour started last night over there. Oh, that's that's all right, I, turn right here. Turn right here. Turn right here. Need to go to the go to the hippie store. Washington Square Street, and then here. In God, 700 feet, the destination is on your right. But where's the school? Oh, there it is. Oh my God, oh. it looks so different in real life. Oh yeah. There it is. This was called Jacob Bailey High School in the movie. Is but it still a school? No, now it's like a condominium. Like people like live here. Is it a resident parking? And this is where all the kids were running out of at the beginning of the movie. And Max locked up his bike up there. And then that's, that park is where they were walking when she gave him his number back. Allison. Hi. Hi. And there oh, is the Salem Witch Museum right there. Cool. Look at this cool house. I want to live there. Look how pretty. Oh yeah, it's really cute. Oh my god, it's amazing here. Look at this. You can get over all the fall leaves. <laughs> Alright, so we couldn't find parking, so Stephanie is going to drive around the block. So we can come and take a picture here. But anyways, like I was saying, this is the school that all the Hocus Pocus kids went to. And then this is the park right in front of it. Did you find a parking? I don't know. I don't know if we should get there. Well, just for two seconds, it's fine. So this is it, guys. Did it bring back any memories? Do you guys recall this? Let me know in the comments down below. Such tourists, jeez. Can't with these touristy people. 
All right, next stop is the House of the Seven Gables. So go straight on this street. We just parked our car here at the House of the Seven Gables. So we're gonna go see what this is all about. Yeah, I think you gotta pay to get in. But the entrance is over here. This is the side of the House of the Seven Gables. You guys can even see the water over there. Let's see, what do we have here? Ooh, cool. So I guess Salem is very popular for all of its black houses. And this is one of the many black houses that they have here. Cool. Oh, okay, so this there's like a big compound basically with like a bunch of houses. And we found a black cat. It's Thackeray Banks here at Salem. Um, what is it? The House of the Seven Gables. Hey, kitty. Yeah, don't mess with that kitty. <laughs> Okay, so we're just getting in the car. We just finished doing the guided tour for the House of the Seven Gables. Well, Stephanie didn't do it with us. She did the, the self tour. I did the unguided tour. Of the, of the gardens. We went to like, one of, inside of one of the houses. But do you guys know what the gables mean? What did you tell us? The gables is the peaks of the houses. Yeah, so that, the tops right there are like gables. And so that house has seven of them. Yep. There's seven Hence, gables. House of the Seven Gables. And one of them is Nathaniel Hawthorne's house. So we went into his house. So I'm going to insert some clips right here. And Nathaniel Hawthorne is the author, okay. the author, the author of The Scarlet Letter and The House of the Seven Gables, the book. And that right there is America's oldest candy company, and it is sells candy from the beginning of the Americas. <laughs> <laughs> we just came back to the witch house. I'm all bummed out, but I have like my scarf and I have gloves. It's probably too, like probably not cold enough for me to be having all this stuff, but I'm freezing. Oh no, it is. It's cold enough. We came back to the witch house. So this is the only house in Salem that has any ties to the Salem witch trials. Jonathan, okay, excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> Judge Jonathan Corwin, who was one of the judges for the Salem witch trials, lived Wait, in this I house. I want a picture without my hat on. John, you have to hold my hat. Anyways, we came back to the house because Stephanie <laughs> wants a picture in front a of selfie. it. Because she didn't do one yesterday, so we got to do one today. This is one of the windiest days here in Salem. Like. Trees have literally broken down overnight. Look at Stephanie's hair, that's how windy it is. <laughs> We're currently at Turner Seafood. We're waiting to get a table. So it's a seafood restaurant, one of the best here in Salem. Hi. We're taking a look at the menu, and I'm thinking a lobster roll is what I'm gonna do. We got a cute table here at, uh, where are we again? Turner's. We also got some nice apple cider sangrias. That look really good. For the season. And Cheers. Apple uh, pumpkin ale with uh, sugar wrinkles. Cheers, guys. To Salem and to fall. Mmm, really. that's good. We got some lobster bisque here. It's definitely the best lobster bisque I've ever tried look in my life. Look at the piece of lobster on top. Yeah, look at those lobster chunks. That's a huge chunk. There's a lot is, in there. is it the best you've ever had in your life? It's really good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, our food has arrived. <laughs> Stephanie, Stephanie got chicken tender at the seafood restaurant. <laughs> chicken tenders. I got a lobster roll, and you got a. I got the uh, seafood medley, so it's it's a fried scrod. He said um, shrimp and calamari. No, not shrimp. Scallops and calamari. Scallops and calamari. All right, so guys. Bacon Brussels sprouts. Bacon Brussels sprouts. That sounds really good. Oh, and Stephanie got mac and cheese. You got the crab one or no? No. Our child got mac and cheese and chicken tenders. <laughs> Turner's Seafood was the bomb.com. The bomb. 
come visit him. It was so delicious. I'm a little disappointed to be honest with you. What? Are you kidding? Yes. Why? Because I didn't see any ghosts. Oh, well, yeah, we okay. Went, we went on the ghost tour the night before and they said there are ghosts. There's some lady named Bridget Bishop. And True. did we see her? Did she come to our table? No. According to our ghost tour, it's supposed to be haunted, a haunted yeah. restaurant, but we didn't encounter any supernatural sp spirits or anything, so. But, at the same it, time, well, no, but Salem is supposed to be haunted with ghosts and we haven't seen anything. Yeah, true. But I will say about uh, Turner's that their food was supernaturally amazing. Oh. It was exquisite, excellent. So apparently, we were in a nor'easter last night. It was a nor'easter that came through New England or Massachusetts or something and that's why it's been so windy today and that's why a lot of like tree branches have come crashing down onto cars and stuff as, uh, you, guys, as you guys saw earlier. That wasn't a tree branch, that was a tree. <laughs> or a tree. <laughs> the trees are falling down and boats are, were being knocked on shore. I know. Alright, we gotta find our way to the next place. Is that why you, is that why you thought? Hey, boo boo. All right, guys, we just parked our car here. Uh, we're about to go up to the old Bearing Point Cemetery. This tree fell last night right here, right by where we parked our car. Wow, look at that wind. Oh my gosh. Can you hear it? Can you guys hear that? It's crazy. But like I was saying, yeah, this tree must have, this tree must have fallen last night. Look at that. I hope I'll be able to catch some good footage for you guys because it's really, really windy. So it's called Old Burial Hill. Alright. Are you ready to go to a spooky cemetery? <laughs> we should come here at night. Yeah, I don't think so. Alright guys, so also apparently the Hocus Pocus movie was also filmed here, which is why we're here. There was a scene in the movie towards the beginning where the guy was riding with his bike up a cemetery and this is where it was. Paul! Who are you? What's the name of the zombie guy? Billy. Billy. Over here looking for Billy. Billy Watterson? Billy Butcherson. It's so dumb. <laughs> All right, let's see what we have up here. Okay, more. What are these things called? They're called graves. Tombstones. Tombstones. I reckon I recognize this from the movie. Yeah, I think was it like there or something? So we're looking where to see where exactly the movie was filmed. We're exploring to find out where exactly it was. Oh, I think he came up here, didn't he? Oh crap! I almost just tripped. This is where he came up, right here. And he looked down on the city of Marblehead. I remember. Look, so you guys can see the water all the way back there. Wasn't it Billy? No, no, Billy Butcherson was not here. It was Max Dennison when he was on his bike at the beginning and those of the kids movie. Stole his shoes. Look how pretty that is. Look at the water. But what was his name? Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> this cold is no joke. <laughs> we couldn't even be up there any longer than like. Why well, we were there like 10 minutes oh God, and... like my nose is running, it's freezing! Let's get some coffee oh, or something warm, chocolate. <gasps> we should get hot chocolate somewhere. The hot yeah. cider. Hot cider. It's like it's being built or something. Alright, we're taking a look at all of the houses here in Marblehead. There's some gorgeous mansions. There's some houses up there on the top, on the hill there. Oh, here's one. So cute. It's a really pretty house. It's a small one too. Mm -hmm. Oh, look at that one. That's, that's like too that. modern for me. I like it. Look at that tree. Oh my god, look at this tree. Oh my god, and look at all the leaves on the floor. So like, cool. Like, if that's not fall. I don't know what is. I don't know what is. <laughs> Let's go back to the room, as you guys can see. 
Not much left to do in Salem. That's why tomorrow we're gonna do the farm. We're gonna go to the Brixby or Brooksby. Brooksby Farms. Brooksby and Farms! Brooksby Farm. And then we're gonna do Boston stuff. And um, yeah, we'll figure out what else will we do tomorrow. Oh, I mean, Boston should be good enough. What else is to do besides yeah, farm so and Boston? Bo farm tomorrow in Boston. Boston. Yeah. Anyway, this is gonna be the end for day two of here in Salem. If you guys liked it, make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe down below if you're new here. And we'll see you guys on tomorrow's vlog. Bye. Bye.